Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron, and today I'm going to tell you guys how I got banned from GameStop. Now, this wasn't a lifetime ban, it was more of a temporary ban, but I'm going to tell you before I get into this story, if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also share this with all your friends. I'm trying to grow on YouTube, and I think a lot of you that are watching this are also, so make sure to subscribe. I'm sure to have videos in the future that are going to help you guys grow as well. So let's get right into this story. How did I get kicked out of GameStop? So let's go back in time, all the way back to Call of Duty Ghost. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, like, oh no, Call of Duty Ghost is a bad game, but wait, it was before the game was released, so no one knew if it was going to be a bad game or not. And I don't think it's that bad, you know, depending on the fact that it was the last Call of Duty that was boots on the ground. So keep that in mind whenever you're watching this video. So let's go back. It is, I don't even know what year it was, Call of Duty Ghost year, and I turned 17. I was old enough to buy the game on my own, didn't have to have anyone else to come in and say, yeah, I approve of Aaron getting this game. And I was able to get it on my own. Now, most of my friends, they were 16 and I guess some were 15. And, you know, what I said, you know, the big guy, number 17, able to buy a rated M game. And they were like, I don't want my parents coming there. Aaron, will you buy it for me? So, of course, I did. And I started off with my cousin, like usual. I've bought his Call of Duty uh, a lot. Not me buying it, him buying it, but just me saying I'm buying it. And I've done that for a long time now, but it, it it was a little bit different this year. I had him, I had another friend. Well, actually, here, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It was probably around 13 or 14 Call of Duty Ghost that I was pre-ordering. And uh, we were at GameStop, it was midnight release, and I was like, on the 13th one, I was, I was just, they knew, like, they just, they hated me. They were like, why do you keep coming in and pre-ordering? And I never said, because if you say, then, um, then you, you know, it's, it's there. But what happened was, I just, they said something, and I was like, huh, I must have a lot of friends. And they were like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're buying this for your friends? And I, I said, oh, no. I, I just said I must have a lot of friends. They're like, okay, sorry, no. Mm -mm, you can't buy your game here. And I was like, well, I'm of the legal age to buy a rated M game. I don't know why I can't buy a game here. And the guy was just like, yo, you're buying games for minors. That is the same thing as going out and selling alcohol to people that are not 21 and selling drugs on the street. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it's not. This is a totally different thing. And they got so pissed off. And they're like, we're going to hold all the games. You cannot get games today. So that was 14, 13, 14 people that were not going to get a game. And I was, I was not having that. They were not having that. And, oh, and what happened was I was trying to get the 15th. That's what it was. I was trying to get the 15th one. And they were just like, no, 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 you can't do this. And I was like, no, I'm 17. I can buy as many games as I want to. You guys don't have a pre-order cap. And we were going back and forth at each other. And then finally I went outside. And I was like, guys, they're not going to want to, they're not going to give me the game tonight at midnight. And they're like, screw that. Go back in and get all your money back. Get every single game back. So what we did, I went in there and I was like, I'm canceling all the pre-orders except for two. Mine and my cousin's, of course, so we could get them right at midnight. And I canceled all the other pre-orders. So they're like handing me back just hundreds and hundreds of dollars from their till. And I know that was like a huge punch to their business too. So I was, and they were pissed off while they were doing it too. They were just like 30, 40, 50, 60 and some change, 60 and some change all the way up to like 13, 12 times. You know, I, I, left mine and my cousins there because I was just like just let me do these two and I'll get all the rest back and then they gave it all back and they ended up going to GameStop and then here's the kicker and then after all that went down I went in my cousin was like hey I don't have Modern Warfare 2 will you go in and get that for me real quick here's some money I went up and I was just like yeah I want to get Modern Warfare 2 and they looked at me, they're like, get out of my store, get out, you're not, you cannot come back in here until you come to pick up Call of Duty Ghost, I don't want to see you around here, get out, leave, 
So I did, and that was me kind of getting kicked out of the store until that time. So I had to go and chill outside, wait for Call of Duty Ghosts to come out. Um, in fact, I think I went back the next day to get Modern Warfare 2, or I'm, I might have gotten it that night. I can't remember, but they ended up letting me get Modern Warfare 2. But they were so pissed off, and I dodged that store for an entire year, and I came back with Advanced Warfare. And luckily, new management was there, new people were there. They had no idea who I was, but... I'm sure if I would have went back in there for Advanced Warfare, and I did buy like seven or eight Advanced Warfares that night and, you know, distribute them out amongst my friends, but I thought the entire thing was dumb. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I think that if someone's of age, they can buy as many games as they want and then pass them out to their friends afterwards. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is how I got kicked out or banned from GameStop. Tell me if you guys have any cool, weird stories from GameStop down below. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.